This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, I have dynamic subdivision active, but it isn't affecting my model. What should I do? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have an example model here loaded in that was created with the ZModeler brush. And this is just based on some concept from the Border Break series. Now the question is asking about using dynamic subdivision. So dynamic subdivision is a process inside of ZBrush that will allow you to preview a subtool with subdivisions, but not actually applying them. So as an example of this, if I just have one of these subtools selected, I'm just going to solo that here. You can see this is just low resolution ZModeler geometry. Now if I come to the geometry tab and then go down to the dynamic subdivision area, in here there is a dynamic toggle. And so if I activate this, you're going to notice that the mesh has now become smooth. So it's previewing what this mesh would look like if it had traditional subdivisions applied. So it's giving you a dynamic subdivision. Now you can toggle this on and off at any time to see what the low resolution version of the mesh is. And then toggling it on, we'll see what the model would look like if it had subdivisions applied. So this is really handy when using the ZModeler brush to allow you to work on really low resolution geometry and then preview it as it would be in high resolution. Now, occasionally when you're working with dynamic subdivision, you may run into times where you go to activate this toggle over here and your mesh does not update to that dynamic subdivision mode. So as an example of this, I'm just going to hold Alt and click on this subtool here. And if I turn on the polyframes, you can see this is just another mesh that has been created with the ZModeler brush. And now if I go to the Geometry tab and I enable Dynamic, you're going to see that the mesh is not updating. So it is not applying that dynamic subdivision to the model. Now the main cause for this not functioning correctly is because you have hidden geometry on this subtool. So if I come down to the visibility tab here and open this up, and now I simply click show points, this is going to unhide all the geometry in that subtool. And as you'll see, this part of the model here was hidden. And so if you have hidden geometry and you go to activate dynamic subdivision, it will not activate correctly. So you need to make sure that you have all the parts of your model visible. And now if you go back up to the geometry tab and then enable dynamic subdivision, your mesh will now preview with that dynamic subdivision. So you want to make sure that if you click dynamic subdivision and your mesh is not updating, just make sure that you don't have anything hidden on that model. So to resolve the visibility, just go down to the visibility tab, simply click show points, and then that will restore all the visibility of that subtool. And now if you go to dynamic subdivision and toggle this on and off, you should get a change on your model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.